OK, so today I'm going to be looking at the Blackview MP60 mini PC, probably one of the smallest PCs I've ever seen. Now, here's the box. This is about half the size of a general PC power supply box. So it is, there you go, look at the thickness. It's hardly thick at all. Um, let's just have a look at the back, the specifications of the MP60 I've got, because it does come in various different specifications. It's got the Intel Twin Lake N150 3.6 gigahertz turbo processor. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's got a one terabyte. I believe it's an M2 drive. It's certainly an SSD or an M2 drive. And the dimensions, look at this. 128 by 128 by 52 millimeters. There's just nothing of it. And I've got the black version, the version that comes in black. So let's unbox it and see what we've got actually in the box for this. Now, OK, this is not going to be a gaming PC. It's it's still good for office work. It could be good as a media center. So let's just take the actual PC out of the box itself. And there we go. I mean, there's a warning there that just says during the system boot process, if you cannot log into your personal account, please turn off Wi-Fi and LAN and skip the option, then log into your personal account in the system. So it looks like it's giving you the opportunity to not log in with a Microsoft account, which is great because not a lot of PCs do that. So let so we've got the PC here. Let's just see what else we've got in the box. So we've got a little um, instruction guide, I believe, which uh, is probably one page of English. Oh, no, three pages of English. And the rest is in different languages. And also, let's just pull that out. We have a UK power adapter. I've got the UK version. And we've also got... In there, this is all surprise. HDMI cable to connect the PC to a screen. And what else have we got in here? We have got this, which is a, uh, a mounting bracket. If we wanted to mount this to the back of a screen, a Visa mounting bracket. Brilliant. So we can hide the PC away. And I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. So... Let's just have a look at the PC itself. Let's take that out of its packaging. So what have we got? There you go. There's the top view of the PC with the Intel inside sticker on it. On here, we have got a power button to turn it on. We've got two USB 3 sockets, not USB 3.2, but USB 3 is fast enough, and a USB 2 socket. On the back there, we've got the connection for the power supply. We've got another USB 2 socket and two HDMI sockets, which is great. It means we can plug in two monitors to this. So if you want to use this to work from home off two monitors, fantastic. Uh, you've got a gigabit Ethernet port. You've also got a three and a half inch mil jack, which is a microphone slash headphone support, uh, headphone uh, socket. We've got there a, um, a Kensington lock if you want to lock it to the, the desk. There's nothing on that side, nothing on that side. And just looking at the underneath there, we've got a couple of screws just there, which should enable us. I think under there is a slot for another SSD drive. Now, like I say, I have already got one terabyte in this which is, is huge considering the size of it. That is absolutely huge. There's also a lock switch there, which I guess locks that into place there. Oh no, it allows you to take the PC off of the, uh, uh, this, this is an extension. So you can make the PC even smaller. There you go. That's just made it even thinner by taking that bottom piece off. So, uh, or you can leave it on if you want. It really doesn't matter. It just slips back on like so, and you lock these. There you go. So yeah, if you're not going to be using the uh, expansion the for a second hard drive, 
then like I say, you can unlock that just like so. And there you go, like a little docking station. Anyway, let's pop that back on, lock it back up. And uh, I'm going to plug it in and uh, let's see what it's all about. OK, so I've plugged in and let's just have a look and see what's going on on screen now. So there we go. Standard Windows setup. One thing to note about this it is extremely quiet. I cannot hear any fans running there. I understand there is a fan inside that. It's it's not very hot either, which is good. Yeah, it is, it is deadly silent, that. Fantastic. So what I'm going to need to do now is, one thing I've forgotten to do, I've got to plug a keyboard and mouse into the side. So there we are. I've plugged in my keyboard and mouse and now I can control it. So let's uh, click on next because I've selected me, me layout and country or region. Yep, select that. And let's just select my keyboard layout. Don't want to add a second keyboard. Review the license agreement. And yes, it's going to let us sign in without a Microsoft account just by not connecting it to a network. So I've not connected it to the, uh, the, the LAN or the Wi-Fi. And it's asked for a name, it's asked for a password. I'm not going to put a password for the moment. We're now going into Windows. OK, so Windows has now loaded up. Let's just see what version of Windows it comes pre-supplied with. So it comes pre-loaded with Windows 11 Pro 23H2, which for the price of this at the moment, I believe it is less than... £200 here, £169.99 at the time of recording this video. Well, you'd pay more than that just for Windows 11 Pro alone. So what I'm going to do now is the next thing is I'm going to connect it to my Wi-Fi and I'm going to get this up to date, up to the latest version of Windows, and then I'm going to start putting it through its paces. Just while that's updating, I thought I'd have a look and see what was pre-installed on here. Well, very little. There was Office 2021 pre-installed and different versions, um, depending on what country you're in. But really, nothing else apart from that. There was no thrown in 30-day trial of Norton or McAfee, as you normally get. So. It means that the hard drive is pretty much clutter free. Let's just have a look to see out the box how much space is on there. There we go. Out of one terabyte, we've still got 911 gigabytes free or out of 952 gigabytes, should I say 911 gigabytes free. And I've started downloading some updates. So there was probably even more than that out the box. So that's a, a big plus point from me. The fact is that you haven't got all that preloaded garbage that you get with a lot of PCs these days. OK, so I've updated the system now. It's running 25H2. I've installed all the updates and I've installed a couple of other programs too. I've installed my Office 365. So if I go into Word, let's open up a document that I was just doing. There you go. There's a newsletter there. Brilliant. App really very responsive. I'm also, I'm just going to show you how quick it is to start up and shut down. So let's just shut the computer down like so. OK, so I'm just going to turn the computer on using the button on the side and let's just see how quick it takes to start up. There we go. We've got black view. We've got the circle running on the screen. And there we go. We've got the welcome message. And that's literally within a few seconds. So how about now loading something? Let's go to the uh, the web and perhaps let's try a YouTube 4K demo. So let's go into YouTube. As you can see, websites seem to load pretty quick as well. And there you go. There's an 8K demo there. Let's but it's probably not going to be 8K because I don't think YouTube can handle 8K. But uh, anyway, 60 frames per second. Just going to skip the adverts and let's just make sure 
that is 4K. Yeah, quality is 4K. Let's go to full screen. And there you go. Wow. Look at that. That is playing absolutely fantastic on that tiny little PC. So let's come out of that. And another thing I've got loaded on here is a well-known media center. So you could use this as a media center. Like I say, it plays 4K. Not too sure about things like Dolby Atmos and, uh, and all that, but I think it does support Dolby Atmos pass-through. But there we go. I've I've basically set up my media center on here and I can use as you can see. It is very, very responsive when I'm moving around. It's it's so quick, much quicker than uh, than it is on a, uh, a fire stick or on a Android TV box. That's so much quicker, so much quicker. And uh, like I say, you can. You know, it is like a normal PC. I wouldn't say it's going to be any good for gaming because of the processor, but certainly if you wanted to use this as a word processor, internet browser for emails, for a media center as such, you could. Uh, it's nice. It's nice and small, so uh, it'll fit quite quite snugly underneath the TV or even even behind the TV. Like I say, it's it's absolutely tiny. There's my hand. There you go. <laughs> my hand can completely cover it. I can grip it with my, with my hand. Brilliant. I expected a lot less out of it. I didn't expect to be able to run uh, that well-known media center from it, but I can. I've loaded, like I say, Office 365 on here, and all the apps on that seem to work absolutely fine. Web browsing, nice and quick. The whole thing seems to be nice, quick, nice and snappy. So uh, very, very good. And like I say, at the moment, the time I'm recording this video on Amazon, it's $169.99, which for a fully fledged PC, I can't complain about that. Obviously, I don't, I'm not sure if the specs are the same as the one that I uh, am just reviewing. Let's just have a look. I'm just going to have, I'm just, while I'm speaking to you, I'm just having a look on Amazon's website on the specification of this. But yeah, the only difference I can see with the one that's on Amazon's website for $169.99 is it's got 512 gigabytes hard drive storage space instead of one terabyte. But I think for the, the casual user of a computer, that is, is, is more than enough 512. Like I say, I've got the one terabyte version. I'm just greedy. So uh, yeah, but uh, this would, like I say, this would make a brilliant replacement for a laptop. Have you have you ever bought a laptop and thought, oh, that's all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that on my lap in front of the TV, and then never used it on your lap in front of the TV. You always use it on the computer desk that your old tower used to sit on. Um, yeah, like, like I say, fantastic. Loads of connections I've got here. As I say, the Ethernet plugged in at the moment to test that out. Got two HDMI sockets for two screens. I've got my mouse plugged in, powers plugged in. I've got my keyboard plugged in there. And I've still got two spare sockets, two spare USB 3 sockets for two more devices. And as I say, with that option on there to add another SSD drive underneath there, fantastic. Like I say, if you get the 512 version and you need more storage, you can put in an SSD drive under there. So yeah, very impressed, very impressed.